Welcome to WebStyle Press. Inside WordPress admin panel, this is WordPress admin menu bar, admin bar or admin toolbar. How can we add custom links or a drop down menu in admin bar? In this video, we are going to find it out. Sometimes we need to access a page more often than other pages. I have a cache plugin. Its entry is under settings, hyper cache. If I'm making changes to website and I want to see the changes, I have to access cache page again and again to clear the cache. I want to add a custom link for cache page in admin bar. Similarly, you might want to add your own shortcuts to the pages you use most. Here is how we can do it. Go to plugins, click add new, search for WB custom admin interface. This is the plugin. Install and activate. After that, go to its settings or from sidebar menu, from custom admin interface, go to admin toolbar. This page displays everything that appears on the toolbar and allows you to add new items. To add a custom shortcut link to the admin toolbar, click the add menu item button. Edit the menu title and menu link by clicking icons in front of these input fields. Type the name of link and the URL of page. Settings, hyper cache, right click, copy link address paste save changes save changes now i want this link to appear here after web style press so here drag and drop it to the place you like scroll down implement this for everyone you can also add exception such as don't show this link for subscriber don't show this link for editor and so on click save all settings reload the page and here is our newly added link clicking it will open the required page you can also add more links or create a drop down menu for example i want my custom links to be under my menu to do that, click add menu items, my menu, save it and leave URL field blank. Place it above newly added links, readjust links to make this parent. Click save all settings, reload page. And here is my menu and under that we have got that page, cache page. Similarly, you can add more links, create menus, submenus, edit links, hide links and control everything that is visible in admin bar. You see these icons? Clicking these icons will hide these links. For example, let's hide this new. Save all settings, reload page, and new link is hidden now. And it's back. If you make any mistake, you can always restore default toolbar by clicking this button that says restore to default WordPress toolbar. This plugin can do a lot more than this. You can explore those options under its entry in sidebar. Like these, custom code, custom code front end, maintenance page, custom dashboard widget, admin color scheme, admin menu, admin notice, hide plugins, hide users, hide sidebars, hide meta, several other options to customize dashboard. So anyways, 
you want to add or customize links in admin toolbar, this plugin makes it easy. If you don't want to use this plugin or any plugin to do just that, to add links in admin toolbar, you can add links in admin bar by using small piece of code as well. To do that, from appearance, go to theme file editor, click add functions.php or open or edit functions.php file. At the bottom, place this code. We defined a function called custom toolbar link which takes WP admin bar as a parameter that is WordPress admin toolbar object. Then array called args is created with key value pairs such as the ID of the custom toolbar link, the title of the custom toolbar link, the URL of the custom toolbar link, an array of metadata for the custom toolbar link including the class and title attributes. Then add a node method is called on the WP admin bar object, which adds a node to the WordPress admin toolbar. The args array is passed as a parameter which defines the custom link. The add action function is used to hook the custom toolbar link function to the admin bar menu action. And here the third parameter is the priority of the action which determines when the function should be executed. In this case it is set to 999 which means that the custom link will be added to the end of the toolbar menu here. So this piece of code will create a link with the name cache2 and with this URL. I have kept the URL empty. You can change it to your liking. Let's update file. Reload the page. But we can't see this link here in admin bar because another plugin that is controlling admin bar is active. So let's deactivate that plugin. Deactivate. Now we can see that link, cache it too. All right. Now we can add links below this link. For that, we will need same code block, this one. It will only use another key with the name parent. Its value will be the ID of parent link. So let's copy this block arguments args change the id change the title change the class and the title update file but here after link, let's use parent and define its parent to be this link by using its ID. Update file, reload page, and cache to under it, we've got another link. Similarly, add another code block with different ID, different title, another link to parent is same. This first one by using its ID, class is different and title is different. Update file. Reload, cache to another link, another link to. Now, if we want a link that is under this link, we can do so by using its ID. Same code block with different ID, title, class, and title, but this time the parent is 
another link to this one id for this link update file reload page cache two another link another link two and another link three in front of this link so this is how you can add a single link or menu or sub menu by using custom code and without plugin as well okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video